Hey guys, Key here from Kegland. I want to talk to you about our Double Tap Cooler Box, which we've just started to stock. Now, the first thing you'll notice is A, we've used the highest possible quality cooler we could find. Now, this is a really thick walled uh, polyurethane, uh, high density foam filled, roto molded cooler box, which makes it quite different to a lot of the other cheaper eskies out there, firstly. The other thing is, you'll notice that inside the cooler box, we actually use our coal, aluminium cold plate. So they're the ones that we sell separately. And uh, we make our cooler boxes with those purely because they have better heat transfer. So you'll notice a lot of the other cooler boxes on the market used for beer dispensing, they'll use stainless steel coils wrapped around in here. And firstly, the problem with stainless steel coils, they take up a lot of the esky space. So if you're gonna use it for drinks or wine or something else, as well as using, a cooler using it as a, uh, a draft system, uh, then you can't fit anything else in there. So cold plates are more compact, but the other thing is cast aluminium cold plates help really conduct heat out of the beverage more efficiently than the stainless steel cooling coils do. So really, I think they're one of the, one of the best uh, co complements to a keg system you can possibly have. You can take it to parties, you can take it away from you know, camping or something like that. Uh, you can take it to the races. Whatever you want to do, these are fantastic because they can go with you, don't need any power, just connect the keg, put some ice on the plate, and away you go. So this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to set it up. All the stuff that's included in the kit. Firstly, we've got a bag of uh, duo tight fittings and the two tap handles. They're the short, stumpy tap handle because most people want these to be as compact as possible and don't want the handles to catch on things. We've got two, two of our stainless steel long shanks and they already have the duo type fittings on the back as well. You've got two of our forward sealing taps as well, stainless steel of course. Um, then you've got a tube cutter, a couple of auto close springs. That's really important that we put them in there because you know, if you're going to be using this on the go, you don't really want to be accidentally turning the tap on or bumping the tap as you're transporting it and have beer go all over the ground. Uh, We've got a whole roll of line for you as well, so there's more than what you'll actually need, but you'll have some spare to do some other draft jobs. A uh, couple of bumper stickers and a tap spanner, and last but not least, of course, the cast aluminium coal plate. Now, it's got a bit of weight, and that's the thermal mass I'm talking about. Uh, so all of this comes included in the kit. Now, let me show you how to put it together. All right, now the first thing you'll notice is on one side of the esky, we've got pre-drilled holes here for the beer line to come into the esky. And then the other thing is on the front, we've got two pre-drilled holes to take the tap shanks. So we're gonna get the cold plate and I prefer to have the lines in the cold plate on this side here. So I'm gonna put this cold plate in. The other thing you'll notice is how precisely this cold plate fits into this particular esky model. We tried to match the two perfectly and we looked high and low for an esky which would fit this well. And uh, that's pretty much it. Then you'll get these shanks. You need to take off the uh, duo type fittings on the back here. Um, and then that just goes straight into the front. You get a bit of a push like that. And then you do up the nut from the inside like this. And then screw on the duo type fitting like so. Then you repeat the same process with the second shank as well. Now we put the taps onto the shanks and making sure we put the auto close spring into the shank first. So we just screw this uh, collet on the front like that. And then we wanna tighten this up a little bit more with just this uh, ring spanner here on the seven in one tap tool. So we'll just go like that, really tighten this down. Okay, that's pretty tight. And then put the tap handle on top. Perfect, so now it's just hooking up the beer lines. Now we've just got this cold plate sitting here loose on the bottom of the esky. With that said, some people might find that they'd rather get the cold plate and actually glue it to the bottom of the esky. And that means that when you tip the esky upside down to empty it, for instance, or you want to tip all the ice out, it means that the cold plate also isn't going to go, come tumbling out at the same time. So if you want to do that, get yourself some polyurethane-based um, uh, sealant. So I think the Sikaflex stuff you might find at the hardware store works really well. Or look, there's lots of other brands of polyurethane. The silicon stuff doesn't stick as well, not to the uh, not to the poly, uh, polyethylene esky wall. So I would definitely go for something polyurethane based. Alrighty, so this is where duotype fittings make this type of setup really, really easy. So what we do is we screw on these uh, eight millimeter or five sixteenths to a quarter inch uh, 
FFL fittings on there. Then I've got some shortcuts of beer line, which I've already pre-cut here. So I've just put one in here, one goes in this circuit, for instance, um, and the other one goes in this circuit, just like so. And they're going out to the taps, and I've already got two elbows on the uh, on these two short offcuts here. So I'm just gonna put that in there and that in there. So as you can see, the beer line just goes into these two and then comes out of these two going to the corresponding taps. Now, last but not least, I like to put uh, these elbow fittings on the outside of the S key as well. And I'll show you why I do that. Uh, basically, you have to cut these short pieces the right length. So the elbow just pushes onto the side and it's nice and flush with the edge of the S key there. So I do that for both lines, just like that. And now you can see the reason I've done that is so no matter which direction this line is pulled, I'm much less likely to get a kink right on the corner of the esky here. So I find that's a much more secure way to do it, uh, just with one simple elbow. Well, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Hope you enjoy using these high quality eskies. They're really built like a brick shit house. So they'll last you forever and they're awesome for parties. If you want to hear about any of the other cool stuff we're working on, definitely sign up to our YouTube channel. The other thing you can do is join our Facebook group. We've got an active Facebook group where brewers just like you are on there sharing tips and stuff like that on how to use our gear and get the most out of it. Anyway, till next time, see ya.